what's up friends and welcome back to drew tutorial and if you're new a special welcome to you now guys in today's video i'm going to show you how to enable or disable javascript in your firefox browser so let me go ahead and open up my firefox here now once you're inside firefox guys you want to simply type in the address bar about colon config and simply hit enter now you'll be taken to this page where you simply have to accept the risk to continue then once you're in the search, you simply want to type JavaScript that enabled. So once you type that, guys, you will be able to see the JavaScript that enabled. And it simply means if it says true, it simply means that it's enabled. No, on the right hand side, you have like an on or off toggle. If you press it, you will see that JavaScript is now set to false. And this is if you're currently searching for JavaScript and you realize and you want to know if it's on or off you will see that it's off if it says false right and of course this is very easy and clear to see if you press it again it will say enable and it simply means that it is true and that means that it's currently on and that's all there is to it guys how to enable javascript in firefox browser and you can do this to search for anything that you want and if you're looking for any other configurations you can simply come here and type it and search it and you'll be able to see if you don't know what is there you can simply click on this show all and this will show you all of the different things that you can see you'll be able to go through them to see what is on what is off what is true what is false all right pretty easy stuff guys no guys i really hope that you found this tutorial very helpful and if you do go ahead and give this video a like and share your comments below i'd really appreciate that and if you're seeing the channel for the first time welcome to drew tutorial i'm anjo and i really appreciate if you hit the subscribe button below to help grow this community and also so that you'll never miss out when i release another helpful tutorial just like this one thank you very much and see you next time